evening. We're back at the hotel. We're at the lobby. Yeah, well, not the lobby. We're right outside the lobby. We're heading to Hoop to Do Review, and we decided to get a minivan because the minivan will drop us off much closer than a regular um, lift or anything. Uh, it should be here in the next minute, probably. Um, but yeah, we're taking the minivan. It's, it's actually going to end up being about ten dollars more. It's twenty-two bucks rather than the lift, which would have been ten. And then if I added a tip, it'd be like twelve, thirteen. So just ten bucks more um, to get closer and you know get to ride in the minivan. It's not as expensive as it has been in some of the cases. Not like the um, Animal Kingdom or yeah. to Animal Kingdom, which are usually in the forties. But it's also a very short ride, so it's not like yeah, it's a big deal. But bad. we're about to get on, so I'm going to get off of this. And we will show you the minivan as we walk up to it. And yeah, hope you do. Just got that out. Do, 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 do. Oh, you were pulling the camera off. Oh, you're good. That was a deer. So we entered wilderness and deer. So that's how that works. Which is like looking for. Um, I used to work out in the woods a lot. So yeah, that sounds. Where is like the big sign that says Fort? <laughs> yeah. So this is the back entrance. This is what gets you closer to where yes. we're dropping you off, yep. which is fantastic. So it's a little less mileage and a little less time. Yeah. Um, and then uh, this road oftentimes does have a lot of deer on it. So definitely keep your eyes peeled. Mm -hmm. We also have a lot of bunnies. We have a lot of armadillos on oh, our road. Oh, armadillos. Okay, that's right. They do have the stables here, don't they? Yes. So when Walt Disney opened, uh, Walt Disney World opened in 1971, um, October 1st to be exact. Um, before that, they had all of these stalls ready and open with the horses in them. And they were all hanging out out here uh, for park open. We now have, I believe, 95, if, I'm, if no one's died on me, um, or we haven't had any new babies, which I haven't heard of. 95 horses on Walt Disney property. Oh, wow. And yeah, we saw the carriage at, um, isn't that so funny? I, the Grand Floridian yeah. with the itty the bitty little, little white horses. So yeah. pretty. I was like, oh my god, I I, I want all of them. I want They're so pretty. I, I agree, 100%. Where is she? Before that, they had a really cool, this is just like music thing in there. So, that's pretty so awesome. When you guys head to yeah, your dinner tonight, awesome. uh -huh. you're going to follow this walkway all the way down okay. and then keep to the right all the way around the building. Another way to go is if you see those people walking over there, right. if you just follow the walkway all the way to the right, okay. they'll spit you out over there. You'll kind of have to walk through a grassy patch and you'll be right there in front of who you do. Right? Awesome. You guys. Thank Enjoy. you. Thank nice you to see you, Sky. Thanks. <laughs> So as you saw, we had a Suburban, which is not a normal vehicle for the minivans. That is um, reserved, supposedly, from what Sky told us, um, for longer hauls to the airport or to the um, Cape Canaveral for the cruises. So today they just, I guess they enlisted some of those because they needed them because it was a busy day. And we got the pleasure of riding in that with Sky, our, our driver, and that was pretty awesome. But we're going to walk around here. While well, loving these photos, you will see the models of four different breeds of draft horses that live and work here at the ranch. While the Clydesdale is the most recognized of these horses, it is not the most common, nor is it the largest of the draft horse breeds. Percheron and Belgian horses can easily outweigh Clydesdale, weighing in at over 2,000 pounds each. Today, the Tricycle D Ranch is made up of four different areas. The draft horse farm, which you are standing in now, the non farm, the blacksmith shop, and the trailblazer garage where our trail ride horses are at work. Each one of our 90 horses is scheduled to work three or four days per week for up to five hours a day in various locations around the property. So unfortunately there's no smell of vision but it smells like horses. Tyson. The little white ponies that they use for the Cinderella carriage. So we're just kind of wandering around here before our dinner. Um, we're not going technically the right way to where we need to go, but we have plenty of time. It's not even what, 5 15? Not even 5 30. It's or 5 30. Right now, so, so we got about, about 10 good. 15 minutes to kind of make, make our way over there at some point. Um, you do have to get there a little early um, for your reservation because they have to get you in pods and seated in waves. 
the way it works. We've we've seen people do this before. We've never done it before, obviously. Um, we'll try to take you along for as much of it as we can. I brought some extra batteries and memory cards in case and we need them. Handy. But uh, bag. Can't wait to use this at the grocery store. <laughs> pretty little bag but let's tell them about our extra Disney magic that we just experienced at the Grand Floridian so before we even hopped in a um, minivan to come here a mini suburban a big a big a big yeah. uh sub anyway go ahead just I was trying to keep, think keep of going. a cool name but no so we're just sitting there you know we had ordered our minivan and then we both look up and we're like the this guy and what neither one of us can remember his name but we met what's his name pete warner pete the warner. host of the diz Unplugged. the owner right of, well, uh he the, is yeah he's like the lead okay. guy he owns part of um yeah. the diz and, and some other uh, dreams of liberty travel and stuff like that mm -hmm. we met him he was by himself he yeah. was going to dinner or something of some court yeah. i don't know maybe we'll hear about it later yeah, that maybe. he went um, we shook his hand, said hello to him, told yep. him we'd be seeing the him in August. in August for their... Hopefully um, this one will be out before August. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, for a special night in Pandora yeah. that's happening. And he told us there might be some surprises being announced. Yeah, so two to three weeks. That was exciting. We might uh, post that on our Insta, just uh, give a shout out that we met him. Yep. And we like to watch the Diz uh, for some cool announcement maybe for their August event. So that is... Awesome. It was really cool. Yeah. And I'm just going to show you real quick where we're standing. This is sort of the sign where we're at. Um, we came from that direction, which is where we get dropped off by the minivans exclusively over on that um, area. So we're heading to Hoopty Doo Review at Pioneer Hall. We would go to the beach, but it's sandy and we have tennis shoes on, and that's a bad know, idea. So it gets to the boat launch area. Yeah, but there's still sand on that too. <laughs> but it looks fine from afar. Yeah. So we're going to walk in the settlement trading post and see what they have while we're waiting for our dinner time to show up and arrive for us. Got you some booze if you want it behind the counter. What'd you find? Little princess heart shaped uh, CD case. Was that the. Right. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Uh, obviously, because if you're camping out and want something to do, that's not a bad idea. The custom cooking stuff, because you might be cooking here. And food and stuff like that, of course. I do have some of the celebration stuff here. Not all of it, but some of it. Got the hats. I oh, got those leather uh, brimmed hats as well. I got those. Saw that earlier today. Got the jackets. Got the birthday ears. It's a cool little satchel bag thing. And of course they got uh, Mickey as Woody and Bullseye. It's a pale looking bullseye though. It's like almost gray. Like. It's very pale. Thought bullseye was supposed to be more darker brown. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. And then they've got some kids' toys and stuff, so pretty neat. Oh, and of course the dog and cat uh, stuff as well. We're at Pioneer Hall and we can hear some cheering, so it must be the first show. This is the second show we're going to. So we're gonna, yep, yeah, 4 o'clock, 6.15 and 8.30. We're at the 6.15 showing. So we're gonna check in when we get here. So here we go. Like for purchase, the Bud Light Yingling wine soft drinks comes included with your meals. Right? Awesome. 
again. Your server will be over shortly. Thank you. So here's the menu she was talking about. All the stuff on top is included. Beverages are also included. If you want a specialty drink, basically it's a clip with the light on it. Or if you want a specialty moonshine cocktail or Evian bottled water. But otherwise, you get a lot of cool stuff. And we are seated by ourselves. We're not at a um, large table, so that's nice. And we are not directly in front of the um, stage, which is good because we're not going to be we're not going to be getting spit on or anything as they sing. Um, but yeah, so we're looking forward to it. We're going to start eating because if I don't start eating now, I'm not going to be able to eat. So we'll let you know how stuff is and kind of show you as it goes, and we're just going to have fun. So so far, the cornbread is very good. Um, it's not warm it's not cold but it's just fine um it's just fresh but not you know not hot or anything um the butter's a little hard the sangria diane um tell me anything about the sangria it's red <laughs> um so they always do like extra slices that go with their sangria so it's a little bit more earthier it's good and i got a go i got a yingling we both got waters, of course. This is not moonshine. This is just waters. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy. And the salad's pretty good. It's not ranch dressing. It's sort of like a, it's almost a like Greek almost. Italian. Italian maybe, something like that. It's pretty good. The pianist has arrived. And the guitarist has arrived as well. I know he is guitarist. Point of clarification, he's got a banjo, not a guitar. But I guess shortly we'll have some music and some singing and some comedy and some different food because we're both done with our salad and cornbread's good but we're saving it for the rest of the food and diane's bored and on her phone already i'm not looking at work email though that's a good thing or one for the diane yay one point But we were held over at our last engagement. And then the stage coach broke down and you know No, see, it'd be so long winded. This more we got ourselves show to do. All right, Casey. Fire up that arc. Yes, send musicians if you please. Food, as you can see, is slowly arriving. We have chicken, 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 chicken. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Ribs, corn, beans, uh, chicken, mac, and mashed potatoes. We add some mac and cheese. Yeah, you can ask for mac and cheese. All right, let's eat.
of our little Sago K, Sago K um, building will be a little quiet because it's for the lobby and you can hear the elevator but we just got finished seeing who to do of course you saw that um, starting with the ending which is leaving to do was crazy so we get a bus and then it goes like All forever these, like, five and then we stops. get off the bus and then we have to get a <laughs> lift and it's i don't know it's, we had to it was, walk <laughs> yeah like it was weird we, never, we didn't really ever have any understanding of where we were going the bus driver yeah. was great and he was like yeah, wishing, was really... a, wishing a happy birthday to a person that was on the bus and they were a princess. but the problem was he was not really like okay this is the stop we have three stops and everything it was just yeah. he was distracted with being extra i can tell you he was extra I just could never stay at Fort Wilderness. It's just, it just too much. It was too big. It's too, too much. much. But, um, but that's that was after that. It yeah. was fine. So getting okay, getting there that um, was, was not bad. We did the minivan, which and you saw. we went in the back. Um, we, well, because we, we got the minivan, that's how we were able to do that. So that was nice to get there early. See that, but the problem was we got there early and we already had our seats. It wasn't like we got different seats by getting there earlier, yeah. and. We just stood outside for like 30 minutes and yeah. it was, the bugs were out and we were just standing Thankfully there, there was nothing to do. And we were in a line, but there was nowhere to go. It yeah. was just standing there. So if you're um, going to it, just roll I, it I mean, get, get there early enough to be early, but not like okay. we were. Like get there 15 minutes before the start time. We thought like the start we, time we, we need to be, you know, whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But they, they see, don't they don't let the you doors. in the door until the time that it says on your ticket. Mm -hmm. If you have a 615, that's when they open the door for you to go in. Mm -hmm. So you're not missing anything. Yeah, no. um, oh, we take a, some lovely pictures in yeah, here. We got okay. We'll we'll put the pictures in if we can. Okay. Anyway, we got um, seated in a pretty good seat. Um, again, mm -hmm. I don't know necessarily how to do the seating, but there was two of us, so you get a side side table or whatever sort of mm -hmm. off center table. I guess is a better way to say it. Um, we were close to the front because we paid for the category one. one. Mm -hmm. The food that you get is the same that everyone else gets. Um, you get your choice of some drinks. You can get alcoholic beverages. It's it's a bottomless um, cup, um, unless you get some specialty stuff, which we did not get. Um, Diane did not care for the sangria, either sangrias, because they messed up and gave her one that she didn't order, a white one. Nah, okay. She didn't really like them. Um, my yingling was fine. It's a yingling. There's, I mean, if you like yingling, you really like, like it. Coke. If you don't, then you wouldn't like it. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's it's whatever. Coke product, I think, is what it is anyway. Mm -hmm. um, Salad was fine. Yeah. It was just a regular basic salad with a pretty yeah, decent dressing. A lot of cheese on it. The mm -hmm. cornbread was good. We both liked the cornbread. The butter was hard. It wasn't softened. The cornbread was not And the hot. cornbread was not, yeah, it wasn't cold. It wasn't stale. Yeah. It just so wasn't hot. Southerners. <laughs> yeah, we want fresh, warm cornbread. You can hot melt the butter on it. Yeah. Soft butter. It's like, yeah, yeah I can have that I mean, breakfast lunch in there. We ate it. It was fine. It was it nothing was. wrong. It was really but, nice cornbread. So, um, then the, milk the, came the meal came, which was, I mean, it's a big to do and everything. Yeah. We'll tell you a little bit more about the singing and everything else, but the food, the chicken was good. I yeah. like the chicken. Mm -hmm. The, the ribs were good, but I didn't, I didn't need like more ribs. than one or two. Yeah. Um, the mashed potatoes are your standard mashed potatoes with the skin on them. Um, yeah, there's a gnat flying around, so hopefully that won't get too bad. Um, even though we're inside, maybe it followed us from Fort Waters. <laughs> um, 
the uh, mashed chicken, mashed, corn. okay, mashed potatoes were fine. The corn was just basic yeah, corn. Yeah, that was their seasonal vegetable. That was the seasonal vegetable, it was just corn. Then we also um, had cowboy beans, which were... Just thick beans. I don't know, they I didn't weird. even like, I didn't even try it. Uh, we asked for the mac and cheese, which you can do, and yes. they brought it, and it was, it was it fine. Was really mac, and mac and cheese, it was yeah. very much your, you know, your run of the mill run cheesy. Run of the mill cheesy um, it's not crap, it but it's warm. not, yeah. And be that was our warmest because thing. Because we ordered it just specifically, it came out warmer yeah. than anything else. So keep that in mind for some reason. Yeah. I wonder if it's because it's a special. Um, that was all the different food, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's not that much variety. Um, and then you get dessert. Then you get the dessert, the dessert strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. um, it was fine, it was good. Yeah. There was nothing wrong with it. We didn't have mm -hmm. a lot of it, but it wouldn't have been, if I saw a menu with desserts, I wouldn't have chosen it probably, but it was fine. It's, yeah. it, you know, it makes sense. Um, so they sing on a whole to, song about it. Yeah, well, so on to the show portion. Mm -hmm. The pianist and the banjo. They were great. They were good, yeah. of course. Um, and they kept you kind of some music just kind of going mm -hmm. as long as there was, you know. And some background music throughout the show. Not right. just playing for the show, but just during the talk. During the dinner and stuff, they would just mm -hmm. have that. Um, the timing of everything. So you sit down with your salad and your bread mm -hmm. and eat... Then they, they enter in, yeah. um, they come in, they do a little bit of a song. Um, they do it like two songs. It, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's maybe five, 10 minutes at most. Maybe, yeah. I think it's probably closer to five and 10. Yeah. Um, and then you have the um, meal come out mm -hmm. and they do like a big to-do about the meal coming out mm -hmm. and slap the yeah. little things on the table, which is fine. And it was loud, it, We got it something slapped on our table. We found out if you have a sticker, a sticker on your number, on your number you're going card. to get a yeah. um, cast, uh, 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 not okay. a cast member, they're all cast members, but the actual stage cast yeah, bringing you one of them. Something. Just, you know, just whatever. Yeah. Um, it was fine. Um, that happened. Um, we ate for a while. Mm -hmm. They did a song. They do like a little bit. more lighter songs, like happy birthday songs, happy anniversary songs. Oh, yes. Songs, they, 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 they like, and, and they asked, like, where are you from? from and they had like yeah. little was, jokes for the stage yeah. and stuff. You know, um, there's different things like that. The real show, the actual yeah. like show, comes after dinner. comes between dinner and, and dessert, mm -hmm. and it involves a few songs, mm -hmm. each of the characters getting their own solo or whatever. Yeah. Um, and at the, what happens? Then they have the Davy Crockett thing. Yeah. That's like the um, audience story participation. and the audience participation, which is always fun. It's funny. Mm -hmm. They keep picking on one guy in the audience usually yeah. and stuff and do different things. And he was um, near us, so yeah. we, it was really um, fun. I did notice because I had the camera up and I was holding it. They did not pick on me for anything. Nope. Um, they were respectful that I was just doing that. Um, when they even came to the end, where they handed uh, Diana a washboard, obviously they didn't ask me. I was filming. She was, you know, participating. So they weren't going to like. And they also weren't going to engage with the person with a camera because it doesn't make sense because they're it's supposed to be weird. back westerny yeah. whatever else. Yeah. So I get that. And I'm fine with that. I don't want to participate. Yeah, we're but fine. that's a way for you to not get to participate is if you're uh, using technology like that and making it apparent that you don't want to yeah, be. Yeah, that's very funny. Yeah. Because um, you, sometimes you, you're afraid. Like, the way we were positioned, uh, Eric was right beside the stairs. So when they came off the stairs, they would look into the camera. Yeah, they, they, they would interact. Um, but they weren't picking on me, I guess. No. Um, and they don't do that really. The the guy no. that they picked on was a very likable guy. He yeah. didn't care. It wasn't a big deal. And they did the upfront family. Yeah, upfront family yeah. make some jokes, but it, they never were like. And, and you know, they're like, oh, you got something in your beard, and it's just the guy in the front. But it wasn't like they weren't yeah. actively picking on someone that didn't want to participate. They weren't yeah. gonna try to do that. If yeah, it didn't they're... play, they would just stop and move on. Yeah, um, which was good. Like mm -hmm. they knew how to read the room. The songs were fine. The singing, the dancing, everything was yeah. good. They obviously have it down to a T. Yep. Um, the jokes were the jokes that they've written. There were some jokes that you could tell were ad-libbed or mm -hmm. built like, upon. When they did the state song, they had to do some, well, they have, not, I'm pretty sure they have a bit right. for every state. Right, um, not just that. Yeah. Um, when they had um, a six bit and the hat and stuff, when he came out, and it was like, oh, you're still wearing a dark hat. And there was a couple of times that you could tell that they were kind of stretching a little bit yeah. or adding to it or making it a little joke, yeah. that they have the freedom to do that. And it's not just all written. So yeah. that was good. So they stayed in character and made some jokes like that. And that was my favorite parts of it was when it wasn't like, mm -hmm. I've got to read my I law. Think you the know. guy in the purple, if I remember correctly, he might be the guy who also did um, the Christmas show. The very smiley guy? 
the or the leader quote unquote guy uh no the guy in the purple yeah the guy that smiled yeah he was always he was always yeah. smiling even when he was singing, he's also he a daffer like dan this. as well so. he sings with his smile he, but it was fine yeah. but he but that was you know he was fine but um each have their parts it's always the same parts they always have the same story which also means would you need to go again i'll go at christmas time christmas has a different show it is different, mm -hmm. different songs, different acts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's still hoop to do They still do the hoop to do review beginning, the song at the end. But they do have Christmassy songs. Uh, yeah. So we'll give a review of that if we ever do that. So what's your overall thoughts? I'm going to give a thumbs up and say it's a definitely uh, to do. I would try to figure out better transportation. Um, that's the only thing, like... I never want to go back to Fort Wilderness again. Like we want to go see the campfire in Chippendale, and I'm that's like, just not worth it. Um, nope. I think it's like yeah. stop number nineteen. Like I can't, I can't do that. I just um, yeah, Disney transportation kills me. Yeah, any, another it, story. Right. Um, as far as I see it, I think the price was okay. Um, it wasn't for the You're food. Right, it wasn't for the food. It was for the of entertainment. There are right. six entertainers up on the stage. Uh, two, what, two musicians. Two musicians. I think they also had a spotlight and announcer yep. person as well. MC spotlight. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And additionally, you get great, great Disney service, and even the servers dance at the very yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's it's a it's a hoot, I guess. Yes. Um, but don't go into it trying to eat your weight in the food because yeah. it's just. I mean, it's fine, but yeah. you're not going to do that. And if you do, or if you try to drink your money back, <laughs> you can. You drink more than me. Well. But yeah, but it was just a, you know. No. But keep this in mind. It is timed down to the T. Yeah. You get in at the moment they tell you to come in. They're going to be getting you out at the moment you think you're going to get out. There's no stretching of it. It's exactly the amount of time mm -hmm. it is. And they have it down to a T where they're basically like, dee -dee 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 -dee. okay, stop eating. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, stop eating. And big finish, we're done. Yep. Get out. Basically, it's like Jungle Cruise, like, mm -hmm. get out. Um, but it's fun. It's It's enjoyable. The kids... At, at, the, at the beginning, the kids were kind of timid. Then they got into it. Then they got a little too into it. <laughs> and then they got pulled, you know, reined back by their parents a little bit. Then it was kind of all, it all yeah. made sense. Um, but that's just, I'm sure that's how it goes every I time. I think it's something fun. Um, I would, I, I honestly would do this show without the food. Like if they, yeah. Like if they could do that show without the food. Yep. I, it's I, called I the would. Country Bear Jamboree. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, but overall, I think we are glad we did it. Again, mm -hmm. we're not going to do it again anytime soon. Yeah. And we would recommend doing it if the food's okay. If that's a, if that's okay with you to eat the food. Because mm -hmm. if it's not, if it's going to be kind of like... Fried chicken and fixings kind of person. Yeah, if you're not the kind of person, they're not going to... They do offer, obviously, all the side items were vegetarian, right? Because you have beans, you have mac and Not cheese. vegan, but vegetarian. But they do have vegan. But they do I have do, vegan. If you don't but, follow vegan Disney or vegan Agassi... Right. Uh, do but we so. don't we don't we can't vouch for the quality of that they do um, a lot of that and they'll give you a rundown they actually just did the hoopty do um right. review like last week or earlier this week so check them out um, for more vegan right. related um and also will inspire you to eat more vegetables that okay we're doing an ad for them now well, ha hashtag yes, because... apparently we're doing an ad so no because how many times do you see something like oh you know they had that i would have had that but it's on the vegetarian menu right. or the vegan menu. Like so I love Casey's vegan like hot dog all because of them. Anyway, so love them. Um, but so if you don't want the food, don't go. If you don't like the entertainment factor of it, that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. So those are the two things. If you're okay with both of them, do it. If you're okay with not okay with one or the two of those, it's not it's not worth it. You're gonna waste your time and money, and you're gonna be disappointed by one of the two things, either the food or the show. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're okay with both of those things, we say go for it. And if you don't want to get picked on, bring a camera.